My name is Cannabis Rollins. My journey is beginning. A journey that I hope will open the doors of life to me and link my past with my future. A journey that will bring me to a strange and dark place. From Hammerfell to Skyrim to a house called Rollinwood. A world that I have never known with people I have never met. People who tonight are still only shadows in my mind, but who will soon fill the days and nights of my tomorrow. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. I've decided to take on another bounty. And I've also taken on a new companion. A bandit that I transfigured into a vampire. I let Vladimir go because his conscience was getting the best of him. Stealing and thieving and killing was just a bit much for his conscience. So I've sent him back to Rollinwood, and he's there where he's happy. And now I can carry on out here with a bandit whose morals are questionable at best. All right, so we're approaching Robert's Gorge. What was he thinking? Fool never saw me pull that ace out of my boot. They know we're here. Or maybe they don't. Someone else is attacking. Come on. Out. I didn't make it. What was that? Now wait, this is a surprise. Oh no, not fire. See if I can take a potion of resist fire. Now. All right, we're back at Robber's Gorge after that terrible vision that I had. I'll never do another span in that stinking. There's a mage here. He's just waiting to cast his spell. Tell you what, you start running, I can stab you in the back. suicide if I just jump over here. Ow! Ah! I'm starting to rethink these bounties. They're not as easy as one might think. But 
they got that secret island and turned wood to gold. Wish I could turn wood to gold. Looks like we got ourselves a hero. Stop that! Someone do something! Telling you folks, these combat mods make this game so hard. Come on, just need one good one. You won't leave Skyrim alive. Retire some. Give myself an island. Now ain't this a surprise? Son of a bitch! All right, there's too many archers. the bandit deal with him. Go. Wizards. That's power. But they got that secret. <laughs> In turn, wood. That's a mistake. Not quite good enough, are you? They didn't put up much of a fight. <laughs> that takes care of him. All right, what have we got here? Is beacon. No, thank you. Maybe later. Hmm, conjure a lich. Lion, little harlot. That brat ain't mine. Could be anyone's. Don't get one rusty septum. Make sure I drain all of the blood that I can. Kill him, he talks to me like that again. Oh, poison his meat. See how he 
likes that. See, let's make sure there are no chests in here. All right, good. Oh, the college. Use your smarts. Like I'm supposed to figure out which college he meant. Looks like you really did tear through here and kill everyone. Amazing. Someday, give myself an idol. She was mine. She said she'd wait for me. Ah, but they never wait. That takes care of them. All right, let's get back and collect our bounty. You're different, aren't you? Not like anyone else. Not in Morthal or Skyrim. Uh, there are plenty of people like me in Skyrim. Hmm? What can I do for you, friend? There. You've business with the Jarl. I'd ask that you speak to me first. I am speaking to you. The bandit leader at Robber's Gorge is dead, and I'm here for the bounty. Excellent. You've done us a great service. Here is your reward. All right, then. All right, bandit, let's go. What can I do for you, friend? I think I yes. killed this man in Embershard Mine and then resurrected him as a vampire. And he's been extremely effective at killing. Yes. All right. It's time for us to go. 
to Riften. I need to conclude, well, I guess get started. There with my business with the Thieves Guild. see what my instructions are okay taking care of business after successfully locating the ragged flagon Brynjolf has given me a new assignment three business owners in Riften are proving to be a thorn in his side and I'm supposed to teach them the error of their ways I should speak to Brynjolf about these townspeople in the event that they prove to be as stubborn as I'm expecting them to be. All right. I'm not expecting trouble at all. In fact, I don't appreciate being ordered around by these thieves. So let's see what we can do. I don't know. Suppose. If you're looking for a room, try the B and Bar. This place is for the working man. I'll at least try to have my intimidation by looking mortal. Helga, don't walk away from me. What did you want? I have a message from Brynjolf. What does he want now? I already explained to him that you can't get blood from a stone. <laughs> you can actually fight her? Wow. A wise businesswoman would at least try. I get the message. Here, take your gold. I hope you choke on it. <laughs> oh, I won't be the yeah, one joking. Wish I could turn wood to gold. Spawn. <laughs> Has that skooma adult idiot Naluva paid her rent yet, or does she have more excuses? She said she'll have it soon. She still has her job at the meadery for now, so she'll be able to pay us. Why do you insist on defending her? Uh, All she does with her money is spend it on that dark elf garbage. Just be patient, Ant. She'll have it, I promise. All right, let's go. At least I didn't have to take her statue up to Bella. Son. All right, I have to push myself and keep going. My husband, Bercy, will be the death of me. He spends too much time worrying about Riften and not enough about himself. Well, Bercy. So, can I interest you in anything today? I've heard you're in trouble with the Thieves' Guild. All right, pipe down. You want the whole blessed place to hear you? Relax. I'm going to cover it for you. You're doing me quite a favor. I won't forget it. I'm sure you won't. Look. Bandit, can you keep it down? You're not the best singer. Yes. All right, let's go. Wait, who's... <clears throat> Citizen. Oh, the sun again. Oh, all right. One more. Yes. Excuse me.
you, Talon J. What do you want? How did you meet Kirava? I met her when I wandered into Riften a few years ago. Been smitten with her ever since. In fact, I'm thinking of asking her to marry me. In really? Lockmarsh, tradition dictates we present a potential mate a unique wedding ring to represent our future bond. I already have the gold band, but all I need are three flawless amethysts to complete the setting. All right, well, I can find those for you. I was hoping you'd offer. I didn't think it was my place to ask such a favor of you. I thank you. Can you tell me about the wedding ring? Every Argonian wedding proposal band is supposed to have three flawless amethysts as part of their design. Two of the gems, the ones on the outside, represent the couple to be married. One for the husband, one for the wife. The amethyst in the center represents the hist, the entity that all Argonians consider a sacred part of our lives. Well, you might want to talk some sense into Kirava. With the rumors going around about how poorly your guild's been doing, she's become much too bold. I'm not that foolish. The last thing I want is a war with your people. I wouldn't consider them my people, but then help me to convince her to pay. Look, I'm only telling you this because I care for her. Don't mistake this as acceptance for what you do. Kirava has some family at a farm just inside of Morrowind. If you mention you know about it, she might just listen to you. Just please don't harm anyone. I couldn't bear the thought. Thank you. If you'll excuse me, I have other things to attend to. I'm sure you do. You there. Here for a room or something to drink? Show me some coin first. I have a message for you from Brynjolf. Look, everything was all just a misunderstanding. I didn't mean to tell Brynjolf to go jump off the pier. You'll tell him I'm sorry, yes? Take this. Every single coin I owe is there. I swear it. <laughs> I suppose. Having the ability to intimidate and cloud people's minds comes in handy for this type of work. Two threes. All right. Come on, bandit. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Well met, friend. How can I help you? Uh, never seen me old this upset about anything. The city really gets All right. Hurt. We need to go back into the rat way. And if you ever want to be less chatty, hmm? go ahead. You have to be the most chattiest companion I've ever had. All right, let's go. Kill him to get some beer every now and then. I'm sure having him along helped intimidate these people as well. Why take a chance? smelling soon. This way, bandit. I'm sure this is a place that you can appreciate. Job's done, boss. Gave the package to her just like you said. Did she say anything we need not? 
Yep. She said that the Jarl was planning a surprise raid on us, but she talked her out of it. Said she saved us a lot of trouble. <laughs> that she did. Very good. I'll tell Brynjolf. Brynjolf is sitting right here. So, job's done and you even brought the gold. Best of all, you did it clean. I like that. Dumping bodies and keeping the guards quiet can be expensive. I'm sure it can be. But I only did it clean to gain entry into your organization. Killing is what I do. So here is what they owed us. Well done. And it would seem I owe you something in return. I bet you do. Here you go. I think you'll find these quite useful. Potions. But they don't work on me. What's next? Judging from how well you've handled those shopkeepers, I'd say you've done more than simply prove yourself. We need people like you in our outfit. If there's more gold where that came from, I'm in. That's the spirit. Larceny's in your blood. The telltale sign of a practice thief. I think you'll do more than just fit in around here. Before we go, I have to ask. What's on your mind? Word is, your outfit isn't doing well. Is that true? We've run into a rough patch lately. But it's nothing to be concerned about. Tell you what, you keep making us coin, and I'll worry about everything else. Is that enough? Maybe. Now, if there are no more questions, how about following me, and I'll show you what we're all about. Very well. Look, I need to know. What's going on between you and Brynjolf? How dare you? After all we've been through together? I think you better listen to Mercer and Brynjolf first. We could talk later. I just get jealous when I hear rumors about you. That's all they are. Rumors. So quit worrying. Once was a woman who was fair. Tell them that last shipment we had from the Citadel Frontier was worthless. As if possible. I distinctly heard that loud in the town. I'm following you. Tell you if I didn't have vampire vision, I'd need a torch to get through this place. This is the one I was talking about. Our new recruit. This better not be another waste of the guild's resources, Brynjolf. Before we continue, I want to make one thing perfectly clear. If you play by the rules, you walk away rich. You break the rules and you lose your share. No debates, no discussions. You do what we say, when we say. Do I make myself clear? don't know what you're missing. I'm not sure. If you're not sure, maybe you don't belong here. Maybe I I'll don't. I'll ask again. Are we clear on all of this? I have everything you ask for. Rules? We're thieves. What's the point of rules? I'll let that comment go because you're new here. Ask things out of turn again and we have a problem. Really? Now, are we clear on all of this? <laughs> I'm clear. That we I will just hold my tongue for now. I understand that you are going to pay for your impertinence. Good, then I think it's time we put your expertise to the test. Wait a moment. You're not talking about Golden Glow, are you? Even our little Vex couldn't get in. You claim this recruit possesses an aptitude for our line of work. If so, let him prove it. Golden Glow Estate is critically important to one of our largest clients. However, the owner has suddenly decided to take matters into his own hands and shut us out. He needs to be taught a lesson. 
Brynjolf will provide you with the details. Mercer, aren't you forgetting something? Hmm? Yes. Since Brynjolf assures me you'll be nothing but a benefit to us, then you're in. Welcome to the Thieves' Guild. Welcome to the family, lad. Huh. I'm expecting you to make us a lot of coin. So don't disappoint me. So, how do I get the cut of the spoils? Simple. Do as you're told and keep your blade clean. We can't turn a profit by killing. You should talk with Delvin Mallory and Vex. They know their way around this place, and they'll be able to kick some extra jobs your way. Oh, and talk to Tanelia and the Flagger. She'll set you up with your new armor. Tell me about the Golden Glow job. Golden Glow Estate is a bee farm. They raise the wretched little things for honey. It's owned by some smart mouth wood elf named Arangoth. We need you to teach him a lesson by burning down three of the estate's hives and clearing out the safe in the main house. And what's the catch? The catch is that you can't burn the whole place to the ground. That important client Mercer mentioned would be furious if you did. Who cares where the Thieves Guild? That's not how things work around here. The Guild depends on an arrangement of influential people to keep things running smoothly. Without them at our backs, we'd be in serious trouble. Hmm, I can tell that there are changes in store for this Guild. And what should I do about Arangoth? Maven prefers that Arangoth remains alive. But if he tries to stop you from getting the job done, kill him. The guild has a lot riding on this. Don't make me look foolish by mucking it up. I need more details about Golden Glow. Golden Glow Estate brought in a mountain of gold for the guild. You could almost call it our sweetest deal. Then out of the clear blue, Arangoth stopped sending us our cut. Mercer was, well, angry to put it kindly. So we send him Vex and find out he's hired a bunch of mercenaries to guard the place. Mercenaries, not Riften guards. Aye. Arangoth sent the city guard packing and fortified the entire island. In fact, Vex barely made it out of there alive. You should talk to her about it before you go. My illusion has worn off. I must concentrate and keep clouding everyone's mind so they can't see me as I really appear. How do I destroy the beehives? They're built like small fortresses to resist the weather, but their one weakness is flame. Flame? Besides, nothing tells the people of Ripton we mean business better than a huge column of smoke. And why not level the entire estate? I'll give you one good reason. Maven Blackbriar. Burn all the hives, and she'd have to import honey for Blackbriar metering, which would cut into her profits. So, you're not very good at keeping secrets. As I've already determined, Maven Blackbriar is the influential client. We have an arrangement with Maven. We kept an eye on Golden Glow Estate to make sure the honey kept flowing. If the workers had a dispute, we'd rough them up. If competitors tried to buy honey from Arangoth, we'd steal the shipments. In return, Maven allowed us to extort Arangoth and bring in a huge pay. So, how dangerous is it to cross her? Let me put it to you this way. Nothing happens in Ripton without Maven's consent. One word from her, and you could spend the rest of the fourth era in prison. You watch yourself on that island. Those mercenaries don't take prisoners. All right, come on, bandit. I'm sure they're tired of your singing. Ah, 
Vex. Before we begin, I want to make two things perfectly clear. One, I'm the best infiltrator this rat hole of a guild's got. So if you think you're here to replace me, you're dead wrong. And two, you follow my lead and do exactly as I say. No questions, no excuses. Hmm. I know the drill. Now you I like. I've been getting sick of the pushovers that usually walk in here. I think you and I are gonna get along just fine. Now it's time to get your feet wet, and I don't want to waste a lot of time talking about anything but business. What sort of business? I'm not gonna sugarcoat it for you. We're in a bad way down here. Any idea why? Who knows? Old Delvin thinks it's some kind of curse. I think he's crazy. If you want my opinion, I'd say it's just plain old bad luck. So, what can we do? You can get out there and start making a name for us again. Make them start fearing us like they did long ago. And while you're at it, make a little bit of coin on the side. Not a bad deal, eh? You know, it's interesting how you want people to fear us and yet you don't kill. It's quite a challenge that you people have. Fortunately, it's not one that I'm going to concern myself with. Let me ask you, is this unusual gem worth anything? It's been a while since I've seen one of those. What you've got there is a stone of Baron Zaya. Baron Zaya, you say? Is it worth anything? Not like that it isn't. The stone was pried off of Baron Zaya's ceremonial crown by a thief in order to cover his tracks. And how many of these are there? I think I've collected five already. I think there were 24 in what? all. 24? Most people keep them as a curiosity. Some of the guild members have tried to locate them over the years, but they haven't been successful. Well, until now. You sure you won't buy it? Look, I only buy things I can turn around quickly for a profit. And no one wants these stones unless they have the whole set. Tell you what, if you find the rest of them, talk to me again. Otherwise, keep it. Maybe it'll bring you luck. Hmm. All right, so I heard you ran into trouble at Golden Glow. <laughs> yeah, I did. That wood elf's wit. He's a lot smarter than I expected. Can you believe that Fetcher had more than tripled the guard? There must have been eight of them in there. It was like he was daring us to come and get him. Any tips to get me in there? Well, there's an old sewer tunnel that dumps into the lake on the northwest side of the island. That's how I slipped in there. Should still be unguarded. All right, very well. You think you're finished? I've got plenty more where that came from. I bet you do. All right, I think I'm supposed to talk to... How are you feeling, Vex? Pretty angry, Delvin. actually. Can't believe I botched the Golden Glow job. It should have been like stealing a sweet girl from a baby. Well, I see your wounds have healed, but your pride still needs some time. Renewal, something stinks around here. And it's more than just the rat way. We all know it. The question is, what's Mercer going to do about it? And why is she staring at me? Like I have anything to do with their bad luck and deteriorating guild. You there. I think you have something for me. So you're the new recruit, huh? Yes. Well, looks like you and I are going to have to get very well acquainted. All right. Why is that? I'm the fence down here. You come by anything you don't exactly own, and I'll pay you some coin for it. Minus a little slice for the guild, of course. I can also provide a few supplies useful to our trade now and again. For a small fee. Is there anything you don't charge for? Sure. How about I get Dirge to knock you over your head and dump you into the cistern? Hmm. Look, I've been in this business a long time, and I've seen all types. You can play it tough, or you can play it smart. Whatever. At the end of the day, you'll find that all we care about down here is how much gold you can make us. <laughs> I like your spirit. Understood. 
Good. Then there isn't much more to say. Here's your armor. Just make sure you put it to good use. Until next time. To get us out of this rut, then he isn't sharing it with me. Okay, I'm supposed to talk to Delvin, and he's gone. <laughs> Wizards, that's power. But they got that secret magic. Can turn wood to gold. Yeah, wish I could turn wood to gold. Fine. Let me guess. He just plucked you off the street and dropped you into the thick of things without telling you which way is up. Am I right? I suppose I could use some advice. See, that kind of attitude comes from someone who wants to get rich and stay alive long enough to enjoy it. We're gonna get along nicely. So, if you've got the nerve, I've got plenty of extra jobs to help get the guild back on its feet. Back on its feet? Look around you. The flagon, the guild, it's all falling apart. A few decades ago, this place was as busy as the Imperial City. Now, you'd be lucky if you don't trip over a skeever instead. <laughs> What's happened? Look, I know the others think I'm a bit dark for saying stuff like this, but... I'm gonna give it you straight. Something out there is piss drunk mad at us. I don't know who or what it is, but it's beyond just you and me. We've been cursed. A curse? And what can we do about it? I'll tell you what we do. We spit in that curse's face and turn things around out here. Put things back the way they were. That's where you come in. I've got plenty of work available that could guide us down the road to recovery. All you need to do is ask, and we can both come out of this smelling like a rose. All right, and what do you know about the Golden Glow Estate? Watch yourself out there. The mercenaries are in Goth Hire to train killers. Hmm, good. Just ask our poor little Vex. Find me if you're ever looking for some extra coin. Still need some time. All right. Bring your something stinks around here. And it's more than just the Are you serious? Mead, mead, mead. <laughs> Kill him to get some beer every now and then. All right, let's go. All right, let's see. said that there is a secret entrance that I should open up. for my infiltration of Golden Glow Estates. 